Hello everyone, this is the third and last unboxing, unpackaging for today, Saturday. Woohoo! Alright, this is coming all the way from Pratt, Kansas. My brother lives in Kansas. Carry on my way with son, don't you cry no more. I think that's Kansas. Or is Dust in the Wind? No, Dust in the Wind's Kansas. Dust in the wind, always, always dust in the wind, same old song. Yeah, I know my 70s. <laughs> okay. All right. This is, oh, of course, her name is Anna Goodman. Thank you very much, Anna. I've been trying to get this one. I'll explain how long I've been trying at it because there's one side of it that is always an issue. You could look it up all the time on eBay. It's always in the same area. I don't understand why it's always on this side, but you'll get the idea when I show it. Okay, here we go. No, 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 cutting towards myself. I'm supposed to cut away. But, right. Last time I'm using these today. <laughs> so, I'm safe. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. And it is a lunchbox. 1981. This is the third overall presentation of the Strawberry Shortcake Lunchboxes. There was another one later on that was called for Berrykins. Berrykins was 1985. Right, it's 85. And I'm um, pretty sure that was it. There's the one from 1980. Then there's the vinyl lunchbox, which I just got, you know, not too long ago. And then the this one is the because they didn't make a vinyl one for the 81 lunchbox okay so that's that's three I got those three I don't really want the Barrykins one because there's not a whole lot going on it's not a very busy looking lunchbox I like busy lunchboxes look at that see them oh they're just having a good time the little apple dumpling there is playing with custard oh that's so cute then again that is her uh, apple dumpling of course the strawberry shortcake sister so I think she knows custard very well. Okay, now here is the other side. This is the side I'm talking about. This is absolutely beautiful. 90% of the times, problems seem to occur around orange blossom and oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> one of the other babies. I just recently got her. I'm bad. I'm sorry. Um, uh, let's see. I should know this name. That's bad, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. But, um, okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the overall. It's, I mean, this is a pretty standard design for this particular one. The one from 1980 had the most going on it because every side had something going on. This one here, they just pretty much all made it strawberries all the way around. And of course, folks, this is made of metal. <laughs> Lunch boxes after, I think, in 1985, they were all made of plastic. They went straight to plastic. They got rid of metal. And of course, um, the thermos is paper. The only thing it's missing is the red cap on the top, but that's no big deal because they're fairly common. You can find uh, the cap tops to any antique store and get them for a couple bucks. You know, so that's not going to be a problem. I will replace. I will get a red cap and put it on there, and it's good to go. Of course, this is the revised version of the thermos. This has got where they um, came up with this design. You know, that's only in the 80s. But they didn't do that in the 70s yet. It might have been very late 70s. And opens up. 
Smells, well, interesting. <laughs> but that is what that is. Right okay. And then you can take a look inside. This is another thing, too. I don't know if anyone is really um, knowledgeable who watches my videos about lunch boxes. Take a look at that. Look how white that is in there. That is beautiful. These, you know, they had a tendency to rust because you got to figure all kinds of things that were in here. You know, your your sandwiches, your apple, your juice and whatnot. Of course, your juice would be in here. But sometimes I don't think everybody went to school with their thermoses. Maybe. I don't know about you, but I could have packed a bunch of food in here. Taking this out of the equation when I went to school. So, you get the idea. Oh, um, and that, the character I was having a hard time remembering. It's all here, folks. It really is. It's just a matter of time of, of ascertaining it. It's Angel Cake. I'm sorry, that was who this is. Angel Cake will um, have a tendency to have rust rimmed around her head almost all the time. Go ahead and look up completed listings of the 1981 Strawberry Shortcake Lunchbox. You will always see a great amount of rust, you know, or just paint, uh, you know, just naturally chipped off, or I don't know. It's a mystery to me. And, of course, Orange Blossom will have issues as well. But, yeah, this is beaut. I, I mean, finally one off the list. Woohoo! Okay, that's it for the day, folks. I got nothing else right now. So that's a good thing because I really need to maybe pump the brakes a tad, but but it's all good. Okay, again as always, thanks for everyone who's liking, subscribing, hopefully sharing, and being educated by the toys and items that I am explaining because I really like to go into great detail about these things because there's there are outlets to understand these things, but it's better when it's coming from somebody who understands it and you're giving you the information right to you. Bye now. Have a great weekend.